Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick little review slash tutorial on the Chi Spin and Curl. Okay guys, the first thing you want to do is start off with a clean fresh head of hair. So make sure that you have washed your hair and that you have brushed over it to make sure that you got rid of any little kinks. You don't want anything that could cause tangling in your hair when you're using the machine. So please make sure that you brush over it and that it is clean. Okay, so what I do is I kind of grab a one inch section, so about this much hair. And if you grab too much or too little, don't worry because the machine will kind of give you a beep telling you that that's too much hair. And then you just put it in and wait for the beep. The temperature that I'm using for her hair is 375 and that just will vary based on your hair thickness. Hers is rather thick so I opted for 375. As I was researching before I purchased this product I found a lot of questions regarding if there's any pain associated with the way this curler works and I just wanted to tell you guys that my niece here I have been checking in with her as I'm curling her hair and she has experienced no pain and in fact there is a safety me measure included inside the curler already so if you do accidentally grab too much hair or if it, the way that you put in the hair might make it tangle it will not uh, uh, curl your hair what it will do is it will beep indicating to you that you should pull it out and try to insert hair once again Another cool feature about this curler that I wanted to mention is that with every section of hair you have the option to curl either to the right or to the left. So what I have been doing with her hair is just doing one curl to the right and one curl to the left. In my opinion it just provides a better overall product at the end and the curls look much nicer. And it's very simple to do. There's just two buttons as you will see here in just a second prior to putting in the section of hair. You just choose which way you want the curl to go, right or left, and then you insert the hair. Okay, and from this point forward, it just becomes very, very repetitive. So I'm going to fast forward through all that and then just show you the look at the end. Uh, it roughly took me about 15 minutes to complete her hair, but she does have quite a bit of hair. For my hair, I don't believe it would have taken as long because my hair is relatively short and a lot thinner than hers. All right guys, so this is the final product and I did want to mention that her hair is very heavy so the curls are already naturally starting to fall. However, this particular curler does give you very tight boingy curls. On my hair, it, they look a lot tighter because I have relatively thinner hair. So one thing that you want to do is make sure you run your fingers and style it a little bit more so that you get just a nicer overall style so that will vary depending on your hair and what look you're actually going for overall my niece was really really happy with her end results she did mention how much time was saved normally she says it takes her about an hour to do it with other styling tools and this is the final end result thanks for watching guys have a great day